Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us once again. Today I've got a leg of lamb that I'm doing for you and it's been butterflied. I got this from Lil Bells of New York, so you know it's going to be some wonderful tasting lamb. And since I'm down here in Texas, we're going to do it Tex-Mex style for you. Should be a good video. Y'all stay tuned. Let me show you what goes in the uh, ingredient list here. This is the gorgeous leg of lamb. Y'all check that out. And again, it's already been boned and butterflied. Gonna need some lime. We're gonna use some lime and probably some lime zest. Got a little garlic, some shallot, salt and pepper, of course. Here's where we'll start going Mexican or Tex-Mex with it, folks. Some cayenne pepper, ground cumin. Got a little green chili pepper. And I get this at my local grocery. I don't know if y'all can have this or not, but if you don't, just leave it out. Little chipotle pepper, chili powder whole Mexican oregano and I'm gonna throw a little bit of rosemary leaves in there and of course some olive oil all right let me get the uh, dry ingredients mixed up and chop up my shallot and garlic we'll be right back all right we back everybody as you can see I've uh, already prepped up my lamb and I washed it off and pat patted it dry with paper towels and I've got my dry ingredients mixed up here. I just mixed them all together and stirred it up with a nice spoon. Now we're just gonna take this dry rub and just rub it all in on this lamb. And I don't think I mentioned earlier, this is uh, this is about a six and a half, seven pound lamb that you get when you uh, buy it from Little Bells. So it's a lot larger than what you would probably find in your local store. And in fact, I had to put it in this, this aluminum pan because what I'm going to do is stick it in the fridge and let it marinate for about four hours. But I didn't have a uh, Pyrex dish that was large enough to put this lamb in. So, you know, make do with what you got. All right. And I'm not going to worry about doing the other side where the fat is. Okay. Now I've got the, uh, the rind of a lime. Just one lime. Just going to sprinkle that on in there. And this is going to add a lot of good flavors too olive oil let's go on with some olive oil yeah I'm gonna go ahead and rub all this in real quick oh this is gonna be nice all right garlic's going in and same thing with the shallot just coarsely chopped because we're not I'm gonna rinse all this off whenever we uh, get ready to grill it so that's again I'm just looking for it to add flavor while it marinates all right I got my limes busted in half and we're just going to use one lime for each of these halves. And we're going to leave it in the fridge, let this marinate for a good four hours. Uh, I guess you can get away with two hours if you really wanted to. Or you could go longer. Uh, since this has a uh, lime juice though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't push it past six hours. All right, folks, I forgot. I needed to put some cilantro on here. I know a lot of people use uh, mint when they're doing some lamb, but we're doing some Tex-Mex, so we got cilantro right out of my garden. I'm going to put this in the fridge, let it marinate again about four hours. Clover cover with some wrap. Be right back. All right, everybody, we're back outside. We're fixing to throw this lamb on the grill. I got something special to introduce to you. Got a new addition to my cooking family. Y'all check this out. I got a Kamado Joe, the big Joe, the big 24-inch one. Y'all check this out. How you like that? Isn't that fine? I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe Karen might take this over, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Pretty cool, huh? She's holding uh, about 375 right now. Did I just hear you say that Kamado was yours? No, I said it was yours, but I'll, I'll uh, I forget what I said. Did I screw up? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I love that big red It's gorgeous. Kamado. Yeah. I don't know if they can hear you, though. <laughs> anyway. I got uh, I got a setup for indirect grill over here, and uh, and this is directly on the heat right here. And I figured that I would do a, a reverse sear on this lamb. I hadn't seen anybody do that before. Let me get my my grabbers over here. I'll tell you what, man. This uh oh my gosh, that's that's a lot of lamb. All right, we're gonna throw that on there like that. The seasoning I put on there. That Mexican seasoning, boy, that rub, that that is, that smells some kind of fine there, buddy. 
So we're gonna close it down. We're gonna let this sun on the gun cook. I don't know how long it's gonna take. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. And again, we're about 375 Fahrenheit. All right, gang, we're testing about, uh, about 125 on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. And we're gonna let that rest right over here while I get my Kamado Joe, or Karen's Kamado Joe. Up to searing temps, and I got the cast iron grate over here. All right, folks, we're about 700 degrees now. Nice searing temp. We're gonna burp this Kamado Joe. There we go. Oh, yep, yep. Got some flames happening over there. Right, now, again, cast iron grate over here. Let's throw this on there, let's see what happens. That side down, we're gonna go a couple of minutes. There we go. Oh, that's hot. All right, let's get this bad boy over here. Oh yeah, there we go. All right guys, it's been another minute. Let's burp it again. Let's take this bad boy off. Man, wish I could smell this. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Put that over here. Oh yeah. Check that out. All right, we're going to let that rest. Cover a little bit of a uh, tin foil, and we'll get some veggies going. And I think Karen made a couscous, so we're fixing to eat. Be right back. All right, folks. Let's cut into this fine-looking lamb right here. In fact, I'm just going to cut it right down the middle right quick. Separate that out of there. Cut them a little bit thick like that right there. Oh yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, this is juicy. Well, Keith Betag, where you at, man? You'd love this. Check that out, folks. Is that scrumptious? Sure is. Goodness gracious. Karen, you gotta come try this, man. Ah. Mm. My goodness. Oh man, that's so tender. Hmm. Juicy. That rub is fine. Here, let me cut you a little piece. Here, check that out. Okay. Oh man. Mmm. That is tender. It is. How about that rub? Mm-hmm. Got a little heat in the background, but mm -hmm. not, not overpowering. That's delicious. All right, folks, I just decided. Now, sometimes you pound this stuff out and kind of kind of make it so that it's all the same thickness. I decided not to do that. And just the reason is because I know Karen doesn't like it as rare as I do. So I've turned this around. This is the rare side. Y'all check this out. There you go. Oh man. That is fine right there. There you go. That's awesome. All right, everybody. I just want to show you real quick. I got this right here that I cut a slice off of right in the middle. Let's check this out. That tex mac rub is hitting. That's good stuff. Mm. And this lamb from Lobel's. Kind of tender and juicy. Oh man. It's delicious. That's outstanding, man. That's that's just totally awesome. Seriously. Mm -hmm. The finger <laughs> looking good. Folks, I appreciate y'all watching. I'm gonna grab some pictures real quick of a plate. And I also did, uh, or actually Karen did, um, couscous. What kind of couscous is it? Papitas. Papitas couscous. And Karen did a video prior to today, and it's already been up on my channel for a while, but just in case you're interested in how she made the couscous, it's excellent as well. I'll put a link to it somewhere up here somewhere. 
and I hope y'all go check it out. Y'all see this sauce right here? This is what is on my lamb, and Karen made this. This is this is yogurt, Greek yogurt, and it's got some cilantro in it. It's also got some of this sriracha seasoning and a few other spices, but this is what's on the lamb when you see it plated up here at the end of the video. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you like this. Y'all go check out lowbells.com. They got the most fantastic meat available. This stuff's awesome. So again, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all next time here on T-Roy Cooks. Hope y'all share the video. When you do, tell everybody you know, T-Roy Cooks responsibly. <laughs>